Hello, my name is Paul Egan. I'm the uh, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for KEF for North America. I want to talk to you today about the Muon speaker. You're probably familiar with it, um, but I'd like to give you a bit of the backstory, the genesis for this project, if you will. KEF is one of the very few speaker companies in the world that actually uh, holds a separate research facility as well as a whole engineering facility. And a number of years ago, one of our chief engineers asked to do some research on just how good a loudspeaker could possibly be, heedless of cost uh, or any, any compromises in material or, or anything that would compromise the traditional design. What he came up with was an extraordinarily large, beautiful sounding speaker that was frankly pretty ugly. Um, it, wasn't never meant, it was never meant to be a commercial reality. It was just a test to, to flex our, 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 our uh, muscle, if you will, from an electrical and, and acoustic standpoint. Um, the chairman of our parent company heard these things and fell in love with them. We showed them actually in Munich at a high-end audio show. We had them behind a, a, a drape, and everyone agreed it was just the most remarkable sound they'd ever heard. Um, but behind the curtain was a pretty ugly loudspeaker. So the chairman said, well, the last thing the world needs is, is another big monolithic coffin-like loudspeaker. So we thought about it, and we wanted to engage uh, a world-class industrial designer with our engineers to see what we could come up with. Uh, we hired Ross Lovegrove, who is, is a noted industrial designer. He's done things with Sony. He did the iMac, uh, worked with Tag Heuer, and a number of other very, very, very wonderful uh, design-oriented companies. In, 19, uh, pardon me, in 2005, he was Time Magazine and CNN's uh, World Industrial Designer uh, of the Year, so a pretty, pretty well-known guy in the design circles. He really embraced this project with our acousticians, and the result of, of their efforts together is what you see before us. It's the Muon loudspeaker, certainly one of the most exotic and rare products ever conceived for, for high-end audio. And if you look at the shape of it uh, and the materials chosen, one could very easily determine that this was just, you know, it's such a visually stunning product that that was the goal, and it really wasn't. Everything about this product, the shape of it, the materials we use, is form-following function. And interestingly, with Lovegrove, with his knowledge of organic shape, and our acousticians, um, uh, their, their uh, understanding of how sound propagates, working together, the shape they came up with is frankly something we would never have come up with as acousticians. Um, but the, but the, 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 the collaborative sum of their efforts came up with something that was way better than the sum of the parts. Uh, there's only 130 pair of these things, um, uh, pardon me, 100 pair uh, being manufactured uh, for worldwide consumption. We're over 50 sold now. Uh, they're $165,000 U.S., so they are in rarefied air. Uh, they will uh, will sell out by year's end, and someone will have a very, very exotic, limited edition, uh, world-class product. Um, we use this technology from Muon, and we trickle it down into our more affordable range. The cornerstone of all of KEF's uh, uh, technology, or all of models rather, uh, feature the UniQ driver. And this is the very, very best example of the UniQ we've ever done. And, and the research of this product has found these drivers now in our more affordable but still very high end reference series. Uh, and they go anywhere from $6,000 a pair of US up to $20,000. So there's that sort of piece of the rock mentality trickle down, if you will. But until you see them in real life, until you hear them, uh, they are, uh, they're, ver they're dreamy. They are just the best things we've ever done. And although we're a bit biased, we feel they're the best loudspeakers ever produced. I'm Paul Egan. Thanks for listening.